What are the possibilities of you and President uh, visiting Ireland? <laughs> that is entirely up to him. I pack my bag when he says we're going someplace. <laughs> and I expect this is going to be a very busy year. Would you like to visit Ireland to make an official visit? I would like very much to see more of your country than I have. Oh, Mrs. Johnson, may I say how very welcome you are to Ireland, and I hope that upon your next visit, you will spare the time to come in and see us at Limerick. You are very, very welcome indeed. This is your first occasion to touch the Irish shores. I'm sorry that that's the case, because Ireland is uh, one of my pet uh, ideas of having a sightseeing tour sometime when I can do it. And the reason we came here was because the weather so bad we had to come to Ireland where it was good. <laughs> do you think you will get to Ireland before? I you? hope so. Yes, I hope so. Now, this is a presidential year. Any forecasts? No. None. <laughs> How do you feel about the world? How do you feel about the United States, the world generally, today, compared to when you were president? The world is improving all the time. And we're getting closer to the idea that the United Nations will act as the United States as a whole does. We've got 50 states in the United States with their own governments and everything else that goes along with the government, yet they're associated together in a way which prevents the United States from being intact at any point. And when we get far, far, far enough along, so the people in the United Nations understand what they have, we'll have the same sort of peace that we have at home. Thank you very much indeed, former President Truman. That's all right. Thank you very, very much.